See? Something simple as that. Underwear. My underwear happened to say dreaming gold. <laughs> but, yes. You see that? We're going to talk about etiquette. And, um, oh, wait. I dropped, dropped my underwear. <laughs> so, it seems as though in this day and time, I need to be a ray minder, just a ray of light, because that's all that I am. I'm going to remind those of you who need reminding. Wash your underwear when you bathe. When you go in that washroom to wash your body in the shower or what I love is a tub bath, but either or, whatever you do, wash your underwear that you were wearing too. You see, the water today is very scarce and very precious. So you don't know, especially in certain countries, if you were even going to have any water the next day, because unfortunately, your water is being sold out to other countries. It's being, yes. So it's another topic though. But like in other places where you're paying water and the water bill is so high and you can't afford the water and they come and they send a notice at your door and say your water is going to be shut off. We haven't gotten to the point where as we don't allow those things because we are the water and Everything belongs to us. So we pay the price. So now, you may or may not have any water. So, at least bathe every single day. Get in that water and be so grateful that you have it. But while you're in there being so grateful, you need to wash your underwear. Now, for you who are more advanced <laughs> or should I say those of you that are considering yourself adult <laughs> I don't consider myself an adult oh no oh no oh no never 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 I'm a devotee but with that being shared anyway those who want to consider themselves as an adult you should be Washing your underwear every single day. They should not be found in a dirty hamper waiting for the end of the week. Or there should not be a time when your children say, I don't have any underwear. And if that is happening, it's because you have no etiquette. And that is going to be the same way as morals. People have no morals even today. So, we are looking at what we think is the world when it's really just us. With no etiquette and no morals and most people won't even wash their ass. They're lazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is me confirming that I'm talking to myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, girl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, most people today won't wash their ass. They'll go into the washroom and get all of the toilet paper. And that is why when this pandemic happened, everybody was going to get toilet paper because they didn't want to touch their own shit. Now, imagine that. You don't even want to touch your own shit, but you full of shit and that shit is in you. And that is the same shit that you use your hands to put in your mouth that came out the other end. So your hand to mouth to ass hole and now you don't want to touch it so you rather just get some paper and pat it and think that is clean when you know cleanliness is godliness and that is what water water is for Soap and water. See, water is precious life. 
Hmm? And you need to give your ass some life. So, you have to bathe, shower every day and make certain that your children hmm, don't behave like you when they're coming in from the nasty school that fools and they come in with all of the germs on their clothes from the pandemic and their ass is nasty. Yeah. Their ass is nasty. So this pandemic that is teaching you to wash your hands, you should make certain that you wash your ass and wash your mouth because your hands are the culprit. Because your hands are the tools that puts hmm, the shit in your mouth that comes out the other end. And then you don't want nothing to do with it. Just want to get rid of it. Well, see, that's the problem in the world. You do shit, but you don't want to deal with it. And it needs soap and water. To clean up this world, we need soap, scrubbing bubbles, and water. Because the problem is you. You who don't even wash your underwear when bathing and it's so easy simple quick wash and dry and then the next huh pair you have so you only need two and the point of this matter is now that you have learned to live with two underwear wear one wash one now you are blessed see the true meaning of blessed because now you be less and when you be less you be bliss. You have some bliss in your life because now you don't have all that shit hmm, that you have to attend to. Hmm? Because to be less or some might walk around and talk about them say, bless you. Oh, God bless. And, 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 oh, yes, you're blessed. Oh, you are not blessed. You are cursed looking for the cure. And the cure is to be less. Hmm? But no, everybody ran out and got plenty toilet paper. So they needed a lot. Because they didn't know how to use a wash rag. Simple, to wash your ass. People don't know that this world just needs cleaning. Your ass needs cleaning. And to be less means to be concentrated potential. The seed. You are the seed. And right now, some of you who are calling yourself adults are still big children. And you're trying to raise your children instead of cultivating them as they are seeds, not animal. So your ass is playing dirty. Yeah. So I'm a reminder. But once again, I said a reminder. Don't. Huh? Misinterpret. Because then your ass would be wrong. <laughs> I said I am a reminder. Hmm? A ray of light. Hmm? And I'm bouncing. I'm an atom. A couple of them. Yes. I'm a frequency. I'm playing with your ass <laughs> to get it clean and clean up because, see, that's the root. Your ass is at the bottom. And now in order for us to get to the top, you got to clean up your ass. And so what better way than when you shower or bathe and you are in mama water? Because she is 
divine. She is the cure. She's the water in you and everywhere. She's the cure for what ails huh? our ass. And when any time there's a problem with water, there's a problem with everything. If you have high blood pressure, it's because water, your water in you has turned against you and it's backed up and cannot flow. They call it blood pressure, but it is a water problem because it's dealing with your kidneys. And when your kidneys back up, well, the whole system, sewer system, hmm, is blocked. So, you have to make certain that what you put in your mouth with your hands and keep your hands clean because if you keep your hands clean, right? Hmm? You won't touch no dirty shit. And what I'm talking about is dirty shit is the food that you eating. It's some dirty shit. It's rotten. It doesn't have any electricity in it. It's not alive. I'm talking about the apple, the orange, the pineapple, the the um the the the, the Indian gooseberries, the coal amla as well. But also, you know, the, the the just you know my favorite, the lychee, the papaya. See, that is clean, eating clean. No, but you're eating dirty shit, and then you don't want to touch it when it come out. That's some stupid shit, eh? So. You are what you eat. If you, you know, eat stupid shit and dirty shit, of course you don't want to touch the shit. So, make certain that this reminder hmm, shines on you and brings some light all up in here. All up in here. See? Because that's where we're going. All up in here. See, we want to clean the mind, meaning we want to brainwash it. I'm hoping to brainwash you to make certain that you wash your ass and wash your underwear afterward so you can be less yourself. Hmm? See, that's what I want, and that's what I will. I do what I say. I say what I do. I'm not an adult. I'm a devotee. I said it. I meant it. And I'm here to represent it. I have my inner child working. And my inner child is my inner chi. So now that's how it be. Now go clean up the shit with some soap and water. And this world will get better. That's the message. I hope you received it. One love. One aim. One destiny. We're all here together to clean up the shit. I don't want to be washing yours. <laughs>